Hi guys, it's your boy Alano B, the billionaire, and you know what? It's one of the experiences that we, the young guys, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm pretty sure that most of the people who are within 30 years and below have never felt this, or even 35, I'm not sure. But for me, I've never felt it, but it's now time I'm feeling it. And some of the other things that I've noticed, most of the people who do content, who create content for consumers, right now they are recording their content with uh, either phones or just simple cameras so that you guys keep following what they are doing, keep getting knowledge. People have not stopped creating content. We are using the limited resources around us so that we continue doing what we love, doing what we enjoy, and doing what we feel like it will change the world. So today I just want to have, this is like a self-talk, some of the three cents that I have learned in the past few weeks, and probably it might be of great impact to other people, or it will help other people, those who feel like they're really, really not to their um, moods again because of what corona has caused i've talked to some of my few friends and to be sincerely to be honest if your friend has not told you anything about employment then he's in, i think he's in a good position most of my friends have told me that they are not sure of their april salaries and we don't know we just pray to god that maybe this thing will come to an end as uh, U.S. President said that the peak might be there during this April month and they might slow it down when it comes to May, June. He's um, speculating that maybe by June 1st things will be not up to normal but things will be have, start, uh, have started working out. So guys, today I'm reading about, I'm reading a book uh, the the monk who sold uh, his fel uh, his Ferrari, and this guy when he went to seek more knowledge from people who have lived abundant life, the some of the things that he mentioned that we as uh, human beings or we as people who are looking for success, we need to emulate, and I think these are some of the core values that we should follow very very closely and one of the value that he says is personal reflection guys during this quarantine what are some of the things you are reflecting on because if you don't reflect on your personal things at this time like this is the most of the time you have to think about your future to analyze to plan so that when you go back to work or when things are back to normal we don't want you I, I don't feel like you should do things the same way you have been doing it you should be doing things in a better way if you set a goal you should be able to achieve the goal because this is the time to find out what was working well and what was not working well so that you don't give excuses personal reflection means just checking on your inner personality improving on your inner uh, behavior if you can be able to read books read books if you can be able to watch how people can do things to make this world a better place because with that it means that when you improve on your inner self you, it's manifested on the outer part and when the outer part is manifested even the people around you will feel happy and also they will improve because don't think of outward improvement as an improvement it's not don't buy good things don't fancy things that are good me i love fancy things by the way if i had money i would even go for a ferrari too but does my inner image good enough to handle even the ferrari i might be driving a ferrari with a lot of pride i've worked hard for it but how am i treating the people around me if I'm not treating people around me good, then I don't think I'm worth that success. So, 
that's one of the parts that this guy talks about. He talks about self-reflection, personal reflection. The other thing that he, um, he, he mentions, and I think it's good for me, is um, it's called, um, what do I call it? Solitude. Solitude. This is where you make sure that, before even solitude, we have the abundant knowledge. Abandoned knowledge, this is where somebody is able now to go look for knowledge, read books, read magazines, study things, so that you don't seem to be an empty headed. You see, they say empty, an empty head makes a lot of noise. Most of the people around you just look around and notice. The most people who make a lot of noise, those people, they have zero facts. They don't know anything. So make sure that you fill your head with profitable materials. You read good materials so that these materials can improve your knowledge, your level of knowledge. You are able to argue with facts. You are able to display your facts. And also this will make sure that you also grow. To be honest, if I wasn't reading books and watching videos, mentors, watching role models i wouldn't be able to do such kind of videos because people don't fear camera people don't have content so that they can display it on the camera if you have content you cannot fear anything but if you don't have anything anytime somebody places a camera in front of you you have nothing to to talk about and that one it's not that you fear cameras just lack of content Build your content, build yourself, and then you'll be able to compete with the world. Until there, you cannot. I follow a few people, and these people have not stopped creating content. And this is why I'm very, very happy. And they have really motivated me with my small phone. I'm also going, I'm also giving my uh, followers something. I'm not sleeping. And with this, five years, 10 years from now, I'll be able to say that when Corona was there, when we were self-quarantining, we were able to do something. We never slept. We were hungry. We were hungry for success. We were hungry to help other people. We, ha we were hungry to add value to the society. And this is what I'm also trying to do. And this is what I've been doing also. Success is about self-realization. If you don't realize yourself, success won't follow you. People who are successful, they know themselves. Sit down and evaluate your character, your behaviors, and then pursue success. Until there, uh, let's keep hustling. If you are an entrepreneur, please. Most of the entrepreneurs who are African entrepreneurs, I always challenge them, please, we can do better than what we are doing right now. Imagine Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg giving 25 million US dollars so that they can a virus or a vaccine can be developed or uh, sorry not a virus a vaccine or they can develop masks to help those uh, doctors what are African entrepreneurs doing I know it's their money they have worked hard for but what's your value to the society Jack Ma did it he supplied medical equipment to like how many countries in Africa? More than 10. Okay, it's a challenge. And one day, if God blesses me, let me be the first example doing things that people are not doing in this Africa. And that's why I have always said most of African companies, they don't have a long term plans. That's why people fear removing money because they know if they give out, they will go into bankruptcy. But if you have a long-term strategy, it should include even charity. Do even most of our African countries do charity? I'm not sure. Most of African companies have always challenged you and I will continue challenging you. We can do better than this. It's your boy Alanobi, the billionaire. Please, guys, subscribe, share, like, comment. And you know what? Within no time, you will see us impacting more people. Thank you, guys. Please stay safe. Wash your hands. 
make sure that you sneeze on your elbow okay and then use sanitizers keep safe keep clean hygiene is the most important thing right now it's your boy alanobi the billionaire thank you guys peace enjoy